Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be Virgo Sun Moon and uh, Rising Weekly Tarot Reading for April 29th to uh, May 5th, 2019. And just bear with me a second, guys, to uh, shuffle the cards and we can go directly to this spread. Right, so um, the the first card, which regards to the Virgo's topic of the week, that is going to be the Ace of Swords, followed by the second card, which is the challenges that Virgo needs to overcome here. That will be the uh, the Magician. Third card that we do have, we uh, that will be the positivity out of the week. Virgo's intentions, goals, and so on and so forth. That is to be the Page of Wands. Uh, or it could be as well a person here, which most likely is. And then the last one that will be the guidance uh, that Taro offers to you, Virgo, that will be the uh, Tree of Wands. So once again, uh, the cards, guys. Uh, Ace of Swords is the first one, followed by the second, which is the Magician. Third card that we do have for you, that will be the Page of Wands. And the last one, uh, this will be the Tree of Wands. So what it seems here, Virgo, is that uh, this week is going to be a week where you are going to start believing in yourself more and more, which uh, could have been the problem until this very moment. Now, the thing with these cards that I drew is that you are to find out that you are more capable than you think you are, either regarding performing into a career or performing into a, a relationship thing. So therefore, you are to realize that you are underperforming until, until this very moment. Moment, and that's why probably you are not getting the promotion you want, the job that you want, or the person that you are kind of into. The first card here, it is the topic exactly, and that is the, pay, the Ace of Swords. As with all Aces, the... Um, the Ace of Swords does represents a new beginning, but uh, just to... Ex extinguish the um, the sound, a new beginning, but the Ace of Swords, the beginning with the Ace of Swords starts when one realizes a, uh, a truth about themselves, about yourselves uh, in, this, uh, in this specific case. When one puts their agile mind into work and kind of like puts a uh, effort to recognize the true diagnosis of the situation. Mental strength, it is what you're going to show uh, realizing you know that you can be in a better place all right you definitely can be in a better place but also you being in a better place will require a couple of things it will require you know more personal sovereignty it will require higher determination and it will require more demands all right so you have to as well ask for it if you don't ask for it the answer always is going to be no. So if you are after for a promotion, confront your boss and ask them, what is the chance you're getting promoted? You know, if you want to be with someone, well, just confront them and so on and so forth. Don't be afraid. The accompanied car, oh my God, that is exactly like Leo was. The accompanied car, that is going to be the uh, four of wands. 
and we're definitely here seeing a one thing ends another start as the four of wands it is a uh, finalizing of a very important cycle of development and now it's time for you to kind of like grasp on what is substantial for yourself you know to um, not leave anything that it is overlooked around you gather up you know your means your resources put the accurate diagnosis upon your situation where you are right now you know and what can be your highest goals and start moving toward those higher goals higher goals i never said that it's gonna be easy as a matter of fact with these cards and the follow-up here it's not gonna be easy guys but the good things happen through hard work at least this uh week april 29th to may 5th 2019 for you at least uh virgos so uh the second card uh, which is the challenges that is going to be the magician and overall the magician points that you may find it quite challenging to believe in yourself that as you are you know you can't go for more in other words you may start thinking that you are not either good enough worthy enough you know or capable enough to follow or to proceed after your goal and after your aim. The magician here points as well that you may close within yourself, meaning that you may not want to talk with people also. You may find it challenging to talk with people, especially if you have to explain yourself a lot or especially if you have to push forward a certain proposition certain idea and so on and so forth but regardless how difficult it is you know to convince people around you should keep on trying to exert your communication or skills into the matter and the most important thing with the magician is the determinations you need to have those deter the, these determination to push forward and to stray for a greater height the accompanied card that will be the ace of wands and i'm not gonna lie to you guys uh the combination here it is a uh, active friends and it seems that the opportunity itself works against you so you're gonna find it challenging to uh find a window of opportunity forward and to uh, or to take advantage of certain events that are happening not that it's going to be impossible like i said this is going to be a challenge and challenges are to be overcome so uh, you are going to have uh, this um, arid environment from uh, opportunities or from windows of opportunities here you know to make things easier on yourself but uh, at the end of the day, like I said, I never said that this is going to be an easy endeavor, all right? As a matter of fact, it's going to be a difficult endeavor. And I would completely understand you if you don't want to push yourself because uh, and you just, you know, kind of succumb to the situation as the situation is and you let the, the week to develop a completely boring, you know, with nothing happening because it all starts with that to um, define you know that you do deserve more or I like that you can go for more and you start walking toward more if you kind of like do not start doing anything you know to attract better person for example or to become more successful into your career that ain't gonna happen on its own accord ain't gonna happen with your current performance all right so you have to expand your performance or you have to push your performance to its limits and even surpass those uh, those limits the second card, uh, the third card, excuse me, which is uh, pointing to the positivity of the week, that is going to be a person here, the page of uh, wands, and that person is going to be an, an example for you. I mean, you're going to see in this, uh, in this person, page of wands, most likely a, a young woman, that regardless of how difficult the endeavor looks like, that person never gives up. And uh, on top of that, you are to see that this person never relies on others, all right? That person never relies to uh, get a uh, approval, for example. It never rel relies on someone else's resources. It never relies on someone else's help. It does relies only on his own strength because the page itself does understands that they are strong enough on their own accord and as a positive card it is going to give you an, an example and it's going to be a good thing if you truly follow that example additionally to that uh, the page here points that you all may uh, receive a uh, very cheerful news from somewhere and as well it does point that you will have a lot of room to experiment with all right 
Uh, and the way I see it here is that, yes, the opportunity is not going to uh, present itself on its own accord, but through your experimentation, through your um, kind of like trying different methods to uh, expand your limits, you know, or to improve your circumstances, it is from where the, uh, the opportunity is going to arise uh, itself. The accompanied card, that is going to be the uh, Six of Pentacles. Uh, the formation here is active neutrals and the six of pentacles only adds to the help thing It does point that no one can do your job. No one can do things for you You will completely understand that which is a good thing and you are to realize throughout the week that Allowing someone to help you is not gonna resolve your problem or is not gonna make your dream come true It's only gonna postpone the whole activity or uh, your personal performance into the matter and additionally to that, it also, um, as a positive thing, it does point that you can alter your outcome as well. So uh, you do have a, uh, how can I place it, a, uh, I would say, a great power to, um, to change your current. So if you don't like your current right now, your current flow of events, you can definitely change it. But once again, it's going to take quite a lot of effort in order to do so and those efforts like i said are starting by you realizing that you are not as far as you think you are all right and uh, lastly we do have the guidance card here for you virgo which is the tree of wands so the guidance card here points that you can truly challenge yourself all right and you can conquer new shores as the man sits here exploring new worlds to conquer you can definitely board your ship that it is on the harbor waiting for you the only problem is that you need to find your harbor and i just explained a couple of times how you can do so <clears throat> additionally to that the tree of wands it does point that no many things are going to go uh, unexpected throughout the week. I mean, whatever you are trying to push forward, whatever uh, you are working on is going to develop almost exactly as you are expecting it. So that week is itself is going to be a good window of opportunity to kind of settle down big chores or heavy responsibilities on your behalf because it is a, unlikely that a, a crisis is going to strike you in any time throughout the week. Additionally to that, we do have the King of Wands here and uh, the combo, it is a active supporters. It does look like that this week it is where you... Um, kind of like uh, transform your ideas into powerful drive, into very, very powerful actions. Uh, but the thing with these cards as well is that you have to be sincere towards yourself, okay? So lying to yourself that you do want something over another, you know, or lying to yourself that you are as far as you think you are, I'd say it's not gonna help you guys. It's just, you have to focus on your ideas, all right? your ideas and start working over them, uh, kind of like settle uh, what kind of a strategy you're gonna, you're going to exert chasing those ideas or manifesting those ideas. And you are to transform those, those ideas into a very, very powerful drive, allowing you to conquer uh, new shores or to make a new con conquests for yourself. So that being said, uh, this was your weekly tarot reading, uh, April 29th to May 5th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, we are going to see each other around. Until then, bye.